Today I'm going to be reviewing a party accessory. This is the 1x1 one one Super LED Dome Light. 1x1 uh, one one is a company I've had a lot of amazing uh, reviews with. Their products are great, they're very affordable, and the quality is really good, uh, especially for the price. So, we're going to be taking a look at this, uh, we're going to play around with a little bit of the speaker sound, uh, you know, we're going to play around with the lights, and we're just going to see how it looks and the overall build quality of it. So, let's take a look at the boxing. All right, it's a super LED dome light. Uh, it works with automatic, it has sound control, uh, Bluetooth connection, and it also has a remote control in it. It advertises itself as low power consumption and compact design. It's pretty small for a giant, amazing disco ball. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So these are some of the features that it has. It has a bunch of rings that will project on the floor, or if you hang it upside down, it'll go onto the ceiling. All right, so I will leave this QR code also if you wanna grab some information about it. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. So inside, uh, all we have is some manuals at the top, we have the actual LED dome light, we have a power supply, and we have the remote control. So let's get those items out and take a look at the product. Right. I'm just going to take this off, off screen. We also have a user manual with it. Uh, the interesting thing about this is this is more of a universal uh, user manual that has a bunch of information about it and when you get to your product you can scan the QR code. This is a great idea. It lowers the amount of different manuals that they have to design and create. Alright, so this is the LED dome light. Alright, it's incredibly shiny. Um, I'm going to take off the top sticker. We don't need that right now. All right, looking at the build quality, the plastic is pretty hard, so I mean, even if I ended up dropping it, I'm gonna not worry about the sticker right now, but even if I ended up dropping it, I don't think it would break. All right, the bottom, uh, made of a good metal. Uh, not sure what exactly, I would guess aluminum, because it's pretty cool to the touch, but it's warming up pretty quickly. All right, on one side we have the speaker, a microphone, and the 12 volt power pack, which is included. All right, on the bottom, uh, just a couple heat vents and all the pieces. And on the other side, we have a Bluetooth and infrared slash LED indicator. Okay, so uh, it's a great build. I was able to connect Bluetooth quite easily to it. Uh, at some point, I'll be playing a little bit of music so you can see the sound quality. All right, we have the remote that has the power, pause, mute, uh, back, next, and volume. And it also has a bunch of these other types of... Uh, Input. So we have the sound, we have automatic and none, and then it also comes with six different modes that are already preset into it. So let's take a look. Let's plug it in and see what we get. All right. Ooh, that was a nice little blink. System ready for a Bluetooth connection. Okay, so we had a nice uh, loud announcement. Ready for device connection. Okay, and it says that it is ready and good to go. I'm not going to connect my phone just yet. Uh, we're just going to see what some of the lights look like. So I just need to point this. And we can see. First one is just a red kind of uh, shifting light. I'll go up to the top so you can see what it looks like. Let me kill the lights. It is very bright, and it is very, very effective. All right, mode two. We have a little bit of a green and orange going on. Right. And you can kind of see the cutoff, so don't feel like all of uh, the ceiling up around here is not responding to uh, the light. It's just being caught by the back of this. All right, mode three. All right, we've got more of a blue and white, kind of a club look to it. Mode 4 uh, is red, white, and blue, so I have my 4th of July accessory ready to go. And all these modes are just pretty much different colors. But it is a really, really cool device. Alright, this is one of the red, green, and orange. It's pretty much the same pattern again and again. And finally, mode 6 is kind of a rainbow appeal that's going around. All right, prisms look really cool. And uh, yeah, I really like this device. It's 
It's nice for a party, it's nice for a get-together. Um, you know, you just need kind of a dark area for it. All right, so I'm going to pause recording right now. I'm going to connect the Bluetooth to another device, and I'm just going to play a little bit of uh, sound for us to see what the sound quality looks like. All right, so we're ready to play some music and see what this looks like. All right, so uh, I have some music ready. Uh, I just found some Mozart dubstep remix. I uh, just wanted to use it as a uh, kind of a an informative example that we can use. So I brought it back to mode six, which is all the colors. After this, we're gonna play a little bit of uh, the sound activation feature, which I think is just amazing with the right type of music. So anyway, you can just see a little bit of what the sound quality is like. All right, so the quality is great. Uh, I hope it transferred well to my phone's speakers. Uh, but the bass is a little bit lacking, but if you're having like a house party or something like that, this is more than loud enough to cover all of your needs. I think I'm at like 60% batter, uh, volume on my iPad, and I'm like 50% on the actual device's volume. So this can get very, very loud. Uh, but playing it through the speaker is not really going to make a huge difference. All right, so... Uh, I want to switch to the sound activated mode. So right now it just listens to your sound. So if I were to start clapping, you can see it start reacting to it. So based on the sound that it plays, now when I switch to a type of music, it will actually react to its speaker with a microphone on the opposite side. So let's see what it looks like with the dubstep. Here we go. Okay, so, this device is quite amazing, and as you can see, uh, it packs quite the kick of a light show, especially if you put it on sound activated mode. One thing I do want to bring up really quick is that you can hear the fan going. Um, they're LEDs, they do get hot, you know, you have an entire motor running, you have speakers, you have a lot of concentrated electronics into one spot. So you can kind of hear the fan, I'll leave this silent for a few seconds just so you can hear it. Okay, so just something to keep in mind um, with all types of equipment, you know, especially like DJ equipment and stuff like that, it's going to emit some sort of sound on it. But as you can tell, when you play music, it's fine. So uh, I think the biggest thing about this device is when you're not using it, you want to unplug it so you don't wear down the fan and also so you don't have that slight humming going on when you're not using the device. Uh, my suggestion Put a power strip introduced in the beginning, turn it off when you're not using it, turn it on when you are using it. Uh, this device, like I said, overall, it's fantastic. The build quality is great. It has a good weight to it. Uh, the plastic shell seems pretty nice and secure. If you want to use it for like a DJing business or anything else like that, this is definitely going to be a great thing to have running. Um, even for a house, if you're having like a house party or you want to play some music or you're just like doing like laser light shows, it's a fantastic device. So... Uh, overall, for the price, it's very affordable, it's an amazing party accessory, and I don't think you can go wrong with it. So, I'll be leaving some links to buy it in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, please be sure to ask them in the comments. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.